This video has been sponsored by Solder Stick. More on that at the end. Hey, what's happening, guys? Today I'm taking a look at this really low cost little Geiger counter. I got it off of uh, Amazon for $25, I think. Thank you, patrons. And uh, the reason I bought it is somebody had asked me a question as to how does a Geiger counter work? So I thought we would uh, talk about that because I think it's pretty neat and it's pretty interesting. And the best part is it's super simple. So the heart of this, and where it gets its name, is the tube, also known as a geiger Muller tube, named after the, you know, two people that invented it. And there is our GM tube right there. Now, you see these holes in the case here? That is to allow the ionized particles in here. And for some reason, they have stuck the tube in a piece of um, shrink wrap. And I don't know why they did that. That is really weird. Let's see if I can uh, cut this off. Yeah, should be much trouble. Because I want you guys to see. Oops, careful there, Paul. want you to see what the tube looks like <laughs> there so there is our Geiger Mueller tube now we get any closer so you guys can see maybe maybe what we need is some more light here there we go so what you can see there is a glass tube. It's got a cap at each end and a wire running through the center of it. This is the heart to the Geiger counter. This is where all the magic happens. Everything else here is just to do calculations and drive the display. The actual hard work is done in that little tube. So let me move this stuff out of the way here and bring in a high-tech educational device known as a piece of paper. <laughs> Alright, so let's draw. So this will be our tube. Such as that. And at each end we have that cap and we have an electrode. Now one electrode goes all the way through the center of the GM tube and that is the anode. This on the other hand connects to, in this case the glass, there are also metallic Geiger Mueller tubes now, inside the tube is, or are, particles of an inert gas, a noble gas. Neon, argon, xenon, krypton. So that's these little green dots. And now, we apply a very high charge, say couple hundred volts I'm not exactly sure what the voltage is let me let me look just to be sure so I was close from 260 to 400 volts is placed in there so we have our high voltage charge there And then we have our ground here. So what we've done, or what we're doing, 
is we are holding this tube at a very high potential. There, there is, let's say we go to the high end. So we have 400 volts of potential between the anode here and the cathode. And we have noble gases inside. They're called noble because they do not want to interact with anything. However, when a charged particle comes flying at the tube, it can ease, well, depending on the type of particle. Alpha particles will not pass through the tube. Alpha particles are just two fat helium uh, nucleuses stuck together. They're too big to get through anything. But um, beta and gamma particles will definitely come through here. So there what's going to happen is these particles are going to pass right through there at close to the speed of light. But in doing so, what's going to happen is they are going to ionize these particles here. And by ionizing, what I mean is they are going to rip off the electrons. And when they do that, we now have free-flowing electrons. I'm out of colors. Wow, that stinks. Okay, we'll go back to the blue. So now we have free, free can't even talk, free-flowing electrons, that's these little blue dots in here, that have been liberated by that highly charged particle. So now these free-flowing electrons are able to make contact between the outside, the cathode, and the inside, right here, our anode. And when they do that, we can take a reading off here and send it to our microprocessor. And that right there is the entire key to how one of these things work. All right, let's put this thing back together. So basically, everything beyond that tube is window dressing in these things. You could literally buy a GM tube off of eBay, hook it up to an Arduino, and it'll do everything this does here. I mean, they're really cool. Hans Geiger was the, uh, the German physicist who invented, along with whoever Mr. Mueller was, the... Uh, the Geiger tube back in 1928, I think. I think. I'm not sure. But anyway, the original um, GM tubes were used to prove what is known as the Compton effect. And I invite you, dear viewer, to check out the Compton effect on your own. Anyway, Geiger counter. You can get them super cheap. I'll put a link to this one. Like I said, it's like less than $25. And uh, they're fun to play with. You know, turn it on. Uh, this one's reading in micro sieverts, but you, you can change it to read in the... Uh... Whoops, let me try this again. Setting unit. Okay, yeah. Micro sieverts... Uh, micro rads and micro guy. I don't know what that is. I'm not a nuclear physicist. Micro sieverts is usually what most people look at. You can see our background radiation here is 0 0.08 micro sieverts. And yeah, basically nothing. All right, guys. That's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to Solder Stick for sponsoring this video, and a big thanks to you for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace. Today's video is brought to you by Solder Stick. Solder Stick makes quick, waterproof wire connections that last a long time and protect whatever it is you're working on. They sell different types of connectors, everything from T-tap connectors which allow you to put a splice into the middle of a wire without having to cut the wire or remove any insulation.
waterproof uh, melt butt connector kits. Spade connector kits, which if you work on cars or boats, you know how useful they will be. And the same goes for ring connectors. When you need to connect a wire to something with a nut and a bolt, this is simply the way to do it. Solder stick. Remember them for all of your wire connection needs. There's a link down below for a discount.